If you find yourself with a camera in your hand and want to learn how to use it, please subscribe to this channel, like the videos, comment below. Hi Photos family, today we are recording a video about lights and contrasting these two things, strobe lights versus constant lights. And I want to give you a warning. If you go to buy lights because you want it for your photo sessions or you want to play around with lighting, please be cautious and understand what specifically you need for your photographs. Constant lighting is a better solution for video. Strobe lighting is a better solution for photography. These are some of the things we're going to be bringing up and talking about in today's video. So let's get into it today. I, I'm going to be showing you some of the lights that I own and I use specifically uh, the Versa light from JTL. And then there's also an off-brand strobe that I use. It's a, it's, they don't really call it a strobe. Even though it does strobe, it's uh, more of a, a, call it a flashlight. <laughs> it strobes, but it's not as big or as powerful as the JTLs. Uh, they are very portable and very light strobes that plug into the wall. So they are not portable as in battery powered, but they are uh, extremely kit friendly if you have an extension cord to run power out to your location for your shoot or whatever the case may be. They also only have, I wanna say maybe 10 foot or 15 foot at the maximum um, length of power cord. So your, uh, your power cord run from whatever outlet you use is only going to extend so far from the end of that power cord to each light. So be aware if you have a larger um, uh, area to light, then you're only going to have so far to push each light, especially if you want to point the, the lights back toward the center of your uh, camera sensor, as far as what your camera sensor views for range. The the main thing here's a here's a view of what the Versalite looks like. This is a Versalite 18, 800, not eighteen hundred. The Versalite eight hundred, and it's a fairly big piece of equipment and heavy. Then there's the mount down here. Um, we'll get into a little bit more detail as to what it looks like and how it works. This adjusts the mount to where the light will turn down or turn up, but. You can see inside it has a bulb which is called the modeling lamp and that one if you have that uh, turned on in the settings here in the back that center bulb will stay lit a hundred percent of the time if you have the flash ring which is around that center bulb turned on that's what will strobe when you actuate your shutter and if you have it tied in uh, the uh, the infrared control on your camera or on a hot shoe flash on top of your camera or you're hardwired into the light back here on the control panel with a, a um, not back that, that's the connection right there with a uh, tether cable is what they call it um, then both options in communicating with the flash uh, the strobe will time the uh, strobe of the light with the opening of your shutter. You get the maximum lighting effect from your strobe. The constant lights will not have that option. There won't be a reason to have any kind of controlling tether cord or infrared communication with those strobes. It's basically just going to be a light bulb socket on a stand that when you plug it in it turns light on. And that's really all video really needs. Not all the time are those constant lights something that is good for photography, especially if you don't have a camera that has a wider range of ISO capability so that your ISO rating can go up past 3000 without getting grainy. If you add a little bit of light, uh, for instance, more light sensitive needs in a photo session, if you're doing newborn shoot, for instance, if you're taking portraits of a newborn and the strobe is going to disrupt the baby's sleeping pattern or whatever that is and you're going to be dealing with a cranky baby during the whole shoot then perhaps you want to use natural light in a room you want to use constant light so that the strobes aren't bothering the the infant as you're trying to get the shoot ready i know uh, from talking with those that have taken newborn shots and from some of my experience of shooting newborns um, 
uh, portraits myself of my own children, the strobes can be a difficult situation. And uh, there's, there's only so much anybody can do, whether it's, it's the mother or, or photographer or someone who's just there to help calm the baby. There's only so much that can be done to keep the, the uh, infant happy or asleep or calm, uh, to be able to mold them as, as they rest or um, positioned quote unquote, uh, the area around them is styled for the best shoot. So uh, just, I wanted to give that, that helpful hint as much as I could to you that be very specific and aware of your needs for photography. If you're doing video, then constant lights are a great solution. Photography, you're gonna need to know the light range of, of sensitivity or your sensor, the ISO range so that you're not pushing something too high to get too grainy. Uh, that you're not reducing your focal length uh, with closing down your aperture so so low a number and your diaphragm open so wide that you don't have uh, very much depth of focus and that your your shutter speed doesn't create too much motion in your your image either so all of those things can be kind of confusing when you're trying to pick out what you're looking for. But if you are certain that the item you are looking for, the piece of equipment you are, are looking for will strobe, generally even the quote weaker strobes are going to give you more power than a constant light and are going to add uh, light to quality better to your photograph than any constant light would. Specifically on Amazon or other lighting kits when you go look and, and shop online, not everywhere does a very good job of letting you know what is constant light and what is strobe. So be sure to carefully read through the description. If it's still not clear to you, there's nothing that delineates specifically whether it's strobes or it's a constant light, you can uh, message the, the seller of it or if it's a store that has a, a phone number, email address, you can email them and ask them specifically. And if they tell you it does strobe, you could even ask them the, the power uh, of, of the strobe how many uh, variable, uh, I think they rate them on watts, at least in the US they rate them on watts, how, how many watts it, it goes up to, which is fairly common to light bulbs. If it goes from 25 or 30 watts on up to 120 or something like that, then you're gonna have a, a pretty wide range of, of light added to your photographs with that strobe. And uh, in the next few videos we'll be recording, We'll be showing you a little bit more about each of these lights, like the Versalite 800 that I showed you, and how they work, what they look like, the different modifiers for them, and how that you can use them specifically, setting them up, using them, how to improve on lighting, and all those other good things. So stick around and watch the videos to come. Thank you so much. God bless.